Okay guys, so today I'm back with another Naruto video, of course, because that's the main thing I do on my channel, that's about the only thing I do now. But we're here with some more information on the Jiraiya event, now if you head over to the Naruto Ninja Blazing subreddit, I'll have it linked down below if I remember, if not, you can just google it and search through a little bit and go to the JP section. We got some of this translated, so that way we can, you know... I can tell you a little bit more about this and I told my stream, I told them that if we get some more information on the Dryer event, I'll let y'all know. So let's go ahead and get started. Dryer, the legendary signing toad, can be awakened to 6 star. Of course, the boss is Gamabunta. We figured that out. It kind of hints, gives it away in the banner right there. He has hitboxes on his face, body, and hand. His hand does Gamma Dozan, sorry if I pronounced that wrong, and there's a big possibility of failing this mission if we see that hit. Let's defeat it with high strength wisdom characters. Burst healers are important to maintain the team's health. Jiraiya Legending Sanin, the legendary Sanin, my fault, drops at 5 lock from S rank and it goes from B to S. So, from what we can see from this, his hand that does the Gamado Zan, if I am saying that right, again, I'm sorry if I said it wrong, correct me, please, in the comment section. But it seems like his hand is like the Ninetales forehead to where if you destroy the hand, most likely he won't be doing that jutsu in a certain part of the map. So, most likely his body will be the one that you actually do damage to because with the Ninetales, the Ninetales didn't have. Wait, his body was actually his like his nose kind of in a way so that's what like you pretty much did damage to his face but it, it was actually his body with Gamabunta most likely either the hit marker will be actually on his body it's going to how they station him on the map or it's going to be all on his nose somewhere and his face would be like his forehead or so but it also seems like his face is also going to be doing the same jutsu but it looks like either his face or his hand is going to be the one that you have to destroy so he doesn't do it in that certain part of the map so you can stall kind of like the nine tails if they add that aspect in uh, of course they can always do it to where you can't destroy neither of them and they both still do the jutsu most likely the um, free ninja pearls that you'll be able to get from this from doing the mission a certain way is of course you're going to be doing getting probably three from wisdom characters three for um, bravery characters and five for the 28 costs or lower because that's how it was with the nine tails raid so most likely it'll be exactly the same because they seem to set this one up the exact same way they set up the nine tails one so that's going to be pretty dope so another thing i'm curious about is how are they going to set up the ad units in the actual raid itself besides the gambunta one because in the nine tails one they were all wisdom units so if you ran a straight bravery team it was pretty easy to do as long as you were taking out the units so in this one are they going to mix it up a little bit kind of like the gar one and have some bravery and some wisdom units that'll make it a little bit harder make it a little bit more challenging for everyone because you couldn't you can't just run a regular base team now now, you can either run a full wisdom and take damage from the bravery or to take run a bravery and take damage from the wisdom so that will be pretty dope to see in my opinion and of course when this finally releases out on JP I'll have a full raid review and a character overview in that raid review of the character but anyway guys if you enjoyed the video make sure you drop a like let me know down in the comment section below your thoughts on this Jiraiya raid or even the side raid if you haven't done it yet let me know your comments on those two anyway guys I'll see you the fuck later peace